What's up guys? My name is Emily. We have Amanda behind the camera filming right now. Sorry, it's a little grainy. It's kind of dark. We're waiting for the sun to come up, but the sun is going to come out. It's still 7 a.m. in the morning. We are clearly not in Florida anymore. Can you see my breath? I can see my own breath. I cannot this see is, your breath, but let me so say hello to everybody. Cool. Say hello. Hey everybody, Amanda here. Don't worry, we're both gonna be in front of the camera today. I'm just behind it right now because we don't really have enough sunlight. So we're standing in front of the truck to get a little bit more light right now. But guess what, where are we? We are on the Olympic Peninsula in Washington State. Guys, we are gonna be drifting down the river on a boat with no engine. We're gonna have oars. We're gonna be catching salmon. I have never caught a salmon before. Amanda has never caught a salmon before. This is gonna be a major first for us, a major first for you all watching us do this on our YouTube channel. We are here with, you can see on my hat, I have Team Rain Shadow, our rods, and Batson Enterprises. We are so, so grateful to be here. They set this whole thing up for us. We're so excited to take you with us film this epic epic day you ready amanda yeah i'm so ready guys this is bill the ceo of batson enterprises we're about to go on the river with him you guys are the largest we're the largest wholesale supplier of rod blanks and rod building components in the nation you hear that yeah. Th that is so cool guys so we are with team rain shadow batson enterprises we're about to go catch some salmon our very first salmon ever i'm super excited so thanks for having us what yeah, do we need to know pleasure. for today what are you going to need to know today that you're gonna have a great time in one of the most beautiful spots in the world. Guys, we have no motors on these boats, so we are drifting. We have oars. We have Phil Gray, have motor today. Phil is our motor today, so we have no motors, and we are going to be drifting down this river looking for king salmon, and what was the other species? Uh, silver salmon coho. Silver, sal yep. silver salmon coho. Coho, they're also coho. known as coho. Kings are also known as chinook. Chinook and coho. 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 Coho, guys, this is new for us. It's new for you. You haven't seen us do salmon fishing yet, so we're excited to get this day going. How you doing? I'm doing good. <laughs> you got bit. I, I did. Looks like it. Real. No, 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 nope. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Open the bell. Wait for it to go. Up. In a second. That's a bite. That's a bite. Keep rolling. Keep rolling. Tip up. Tip up. Fish on. Oh my god. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm doing. Oh, first cast. That's a duck hole right there. Waiting. <laughs> Bravo. That's amazing. This is hard. He's fighting like crazy. Whoa. Whoa. Oh my gosh. My first. Well, I, well, I don't want to jinx anything yet. Oh my gosh. Wow. They don't give up. Yeah, you're not in this This is going to be like how long? It could be 15, 20 minutes. Oh, so I need to like pace yourself. Oh, right. Forgot. Here we go. Oh, this is like the weirdest fight I've ever experienced. Oh, right, I see the float. You see the float? There's the float, guys. Oh. Alright. Guys. Oh my gosh. Where is it? I'm so excited. Whoa! I just made another run. You're good. You're doing fine. Oh, yeah. Nice job! Yay! Yay! Ooh, just gonna shake the whole boat. It's in the net. Yeah. Amanda's freaking out back there. There it is. King salmon in the net. Amanda's first salmon ever. How beautiful is that? Yay! Okay, what do I do? How hard? Twist it like that. Like that? How hard? Don't smack do it. Yet, smack it. Wait, Sissy. 
<laughs> I'm bonking like a... my first fish. I don't first know if this is going to make... First, first King salmon. salmon. I don't know if this is going to make Just the YouTube be red, channel. Be red, be, uh, be Ready? Uh, Ready, Holly? Yeah. Okay. Harder? Keep hitting. Harder? Yep, yep. Keep hitting it. Keep hitting it. One more. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, it feels like a baseball bat. <laughs> Alright, I got my King Salmon. Look at it. I'm so excited. Look how beautiful this it's fish is. It's so beautiful and it had come off the ocean. Phil told us literally 18 hours ago because it has sea lice on it. Where's the sea lice? That's the out. sea lice. Yeah, they usually draw there we go. 18 hours. And that means this fish has been on the ocean like 18 hours ago. So we bleed, well they're going to bleed the tuna. The tuna. <laughs> we're going to bleed our salmon. We're going to bleed our salmon because they're going to use the eggs for bait and the blood, what it'll do is it'll basically rot the eggs. So we're going to bleed it as quickly as possible so that keeps the meat fresh, keeps the eggs fresh for bait. And here are what the eggs look like. Those These are, are already oh. cured, right? Yep. Those are already cured eggs that see they... see no blood in them, so they're just perfectly clean. They'll use them for bait. Good job. My first, first, not only my first salmon, my first king salmon. Since we just killed my first salmon, there's obviously a bunch of paperwork. And uh, basically we have to put the number, we have to put if it's wild or hatchery. Well, let's and, talk about the wild or hatchery. Okay, let's so wild or hatchery. So we're learning so much today. Explain it, Emily. All right, so when they're wild, it means that they're literally wild fish and they have this fin. The right adipose here. fin. The adipose fin, you guys can see that? this fin back here. Wow, this water is freezing my hand off. There's the fin. And when they're hatchery, meaning they're from a hatchery, they won't have that fin. Well, they cut it off. They cut it off. They cut it off so that you know it's wild or hatchery. So we, I caught a wild one too. We, we are going through a rapid. We are going through rapids down the river to the next fishing spot so that Emily can catch hers. But something cool that I learned as we go through this rapid. Apparently some of the rapids are actually pretty intense. This is not an intense one. But something cool that I learned for those of you that are new to salmon fishing like me. Um, offshore fishing we have our cow and bull mahi and for salmon fishing they call them hens and bucks. So today I just caught a hen king salmon also known as a chinook salmon and we're hoping my sister can go ahead and catch that buck. Do I mend again? Sure. Because the line's like on the left side of it. So what's the point to mending? Just to keep line out of the water? It's hard to mend without like yanking on the bobber. Talk about the purpose of mending, Sissy. I don't know the purpose of mending. The purpose of mending uh, is to get the slack out of the line, right? So it's less drag on the bobber and the bait, so everything's a lot more streamlined and flowing. Reel up, reel, 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 reel. No! Okay. Good. No, it's a fish! Fish, 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 Tip up. Hold your tip up. Okay. Wait, what was the question? Yeah. How many times did it take you to get to oh, the, probably like... the bottom of the, of the Cracker Jack box? I'm going to get to the center of the fish. Nice job, Emily. Thanks. How do you feel? Okay. It's a hatchery. Emily hooked a hatchery. We are covering all the fish on the board today. So this is a keeper as well because it's one king salmon per person per day. Yes. What did you just catch? I just caught a, a silver coho or silver salmon. All right, we're gonna bleed him right away because it's important to bleed your salmon to keep the eggs, aka bait good, and the meat. Are you excited? I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Okay, guys. So, this is a hatchery salmon, and I'll show you in a second. 
but he's missing a fin and what they do is they yeah. hatch these fish in a hatchery <laughs> and then they let them go into the wild and they grow to be adults, lay eggs and continue this cycle of salmon. Look at that. Look how pretty it is, guys. You have your beautiful, beautiful salmon. And so like we were saying, all right, this is a hatchery salmon because the adipose fin was clipped off in the hatchery, sent out to the wild. And this salmon, what will it do, Emily? It goes out to the wild, to the ocean. It goes out to the ocean. And it spends its entire lifetime in the ocean. It does. And that's where it gets fat and happy. And then it comes back into the river that it was born in or released in if it was a hatchery, the exact same river. And it comes here to lay eggs. And quite honestly, it comes here to die. So the fact that we caught it and it's this color, the meat is still good. In a few more, a few more days, would you say? No longer for Weeks? A week or two. In a week or two, the meat wouldn't be good and the fish would actually be dying. Basically what happens is they come to spawn and as they move their way up the river and the more time they spend here, they get leaner and leaner and the meat won't be good. So we're catching him just in prime time for meat. He's, or she, she, is gonna be she the Sahen is going to be delicious. She's spawned. She's doing her thing, getting ready to end her life cycle. <laughs> <laughs> it was ending whether or not we, we caught it. Exactly. Basically. Amanda caught I caught the king. the king salmon and it was a hen. And I caught also a hen, but a silver salmon, also known as coho. Yours is coho and mine is chinook. Ch chinook. Got it. Chinook. Chinook. Well, so depending on the time of year, it depends on what species salmon are in these rivers. Right now we have kings and silvers, and during other times of the year we have different species. So I've caught my silver, Amanda's caught her king. And we've both caught hens, but the idea is to, to catch a buck. Hopefully catch a buck. And reverse it. I need to catch a king now. And I need to catch a buck. Guys, Bill caught a buck. So I'm super excited because I've never seen a buck salmon in person in real life. You've never seen a salmon in person in real life. Think about that. <laughs> well, let's head to the grocery store. The grocery store. <laughs> the grocery store. Wow. Nice buck. How does it feel, Bill? Great. Yeah. Nice hooking a big fish. <laughs> That's a ten and a half foot rod. Oh, he's a solid 25. Wow. Look, wow. Look, look how big it is. Wow. Oh, wait, hold on. Big fish. We're gonna, we're gonna get out and take some pictures. Oh, it looks like an eel. They actually like fight. Doesn't that look like an eel? All right. So this. Look at those teeth. Like I don't want to get my fingers in there. Whoa. All right. So guys, Whoa. look at the color of this fish. Oh, that means that this fish, holy cow, cow. <laughs> the meat is not good, so we are going to release him. You gotta kneel down. There, there you go. Yeah, I'm gonna jump in. Nice fish, nice big king, big native, big yeah. native buck. Nice. There you go. Whoa! Woo! Nice, dude. Good job, guys. Good job. Right. Good job. Yay! Bill just released that beautiful yes, salmon that and you would notice, salmon. and it was a buck, and you would notice that it was pink. So that means it's been up in the river for a little bit longer and it's getting ready to spawn. So we went ahead and released him so he can continue to spawn. And also, because he's pink, we know he's been in the river for a little bit longer, so he's leaned out and he's using all the fat he's stored up <laughs> and he's here so to he's spawn. Not, and he's not necessarily good for eating, but we let him go so he can spawn and continue the cycle of salmon. All right, we stopped for a lunch break, or a jerky break. Where's your jerky? Got some jerky in the hand. It's right here. He's sitting on the bank. <laughs> ah, we got another one. It's going off crazy right, oh boy. <laughs> ah, these fish are fighters. Wow, it's so pretty. There you go. And I got my jerky. <laughs> ready? You ready to release your fish, Sissy? Yep. Ready? You got this? All right. Just gonna send her off, right? Send yep. them off. Him. Oh, they're so fast <laughs> and lively. Just trying to show you guys that we were having jerky. This is fresh made jerky. Under here, some coffees, having a nice snack break with some warm, hot coffee on the beautiful river. Look how peaceful it is out here, you guys. It's so quiet. Okay guys, we just had some chicken noodle soup for lunch and we are now at a spot. This is called the mud hole spot. Kind of like our wrecks down in the Keys. They all have names. We have spots called like the Willy B or a shrimp boat. And this is the mud hole. I'm assuming because it's muddy. Is that why? I mean, it was muddy on the bank where we had our soup. I guess 
when it rains really hard, you can see on that bank, a lot of dirt washes off. So I think that's why we're going with the mud hole. And there's supposed to be fish here. Do you get a bite to see? No. We're just rooting for it. Ah. I think now would be a good time to have a lesson on mending. what's this mending. <laughs> okay, mending. Emily, give us the lesson on mending. Okay, let me recast and then dis display Recast it. and demonstrate. Yes, demonstrate it. Okay. Ready for a mending lesson? Okay, first I'm going to cast up current. Okay. Upstream. Upstream. <laughs> We're on a river. I'm going to cast upstream and then I'm going to let some line out, dump line. And in order to catch up with the line and get all the slack out, I'm going to mend. So I'm going to lift the rod up. Okay, so her float's right there. And the braid is tailing behind. So her float is floating faster than her braid. And we, we mend when she mends, she picks up her rod, picks up the braid, so that we don't have all that extra drag in the water, we don't have all that slack in the line if she gets a bite, a lot less to reel before setting the hook. And that is the purpose to mending, is to basically remove that drag, there she, there she just did it again, because her floats ahead of her braid. And sometimes, depending on what the, what the river is doing and where, where you're fishing, your braid will be in front of your float, so you have to mend the other way. <laughs> Ready? Fish on! We got a fish on! Fish on. First fish after lunch at the mud hole. At the mud hole. The mud hole. The bite's been kind of finicky. Because of the leaves. We should talk about the leaves. The leaf bite. The leaf bite. We got a leaf bite problem, guys. So we gotta explain to you this leaf bite. It's a so, real issue. You guys might see some leaves in the water. See those leaves in the water? What do you think? Oh, turns the nice bite off. Big king. Oh, you I got, see it. You got another king? Nice butt king, yeah. What? Yes! I haven't caught a king yet. That's her second king. It's my second king. Yeah. So I got my... <gasps> I got my... Like, Whoa! That's Holy that's cow! Can <laughs> <that's laughs> you see how big it was? Yeah. <laughs> wow, these things fight like crazy. <laughs> oh my gosh. Right. This thing was huge. Was that bigger yeah. than Bill's? <laughs> All right, guys. So there's something called the leaf bite. Amanda, let's talk about the leaf. Whoa! Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Big air. <laughs> I'm trying. Oh. 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 Double air. <laughs> That's something that special right. there. This is like a tarpon. Yeah. There you go. There you go. Come on. Dragon I gotta high. show you my fish. It was high stick at the net there. Ooh, it's muddy. Look at it. It's the mud hole for a reason. See how muddy it is over here? Here we go. Look at this beautiful fish. This is our buck. My salmon, look at that. Oh my gosh, he's heavy. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> that weight. I got him, I got him. Yeah, this is awesome. Look at how pretty he is. That's a beautiful fish. Yeah. Let him go. Let him go? There he yeah. goes. Oh. Oh, yeah. There he goes. Yay! Yeah! <laughs> High five! Yeah. <laughs> yes! We were trying to talk to you guys about what's it called? The leaf bite? The leaf bite. But every time we tried to talk about it, the fish would run or something crazy would happen. So the leaf bite. Earlier, we were moseying down the river, drifting down the river. There was this thing, remember, it's called. W-I-N-D. Yes, you can't say the You're word. You're not supposed to say the word. There was this huge gust of W-I-N-D and a bunch of leaves. It started raining leaves. Like a lot. Like raining, raining leaves. And it basically gets in the water and it's kind of like seagrass in the ocean, but it's leaves down the river. And it makes the fish not want to get leaves in their mouth. So when a bait goes by, instead of going to eat the bait, they're keeping their mouth shut because they're not trying to get And they'll just like whack the bait with their mouth shut because they don't want to get eat leaves so it's called a leaf bite so literally that i mean that one salmon took how many casts quite a few we had a leaf bite but we got him <laughs> emily what is this I think it's, a king king. it's your first one double header we're doubled up emily's got her king on bill's up there looks like he's got another king on nice we will be able to see the fish here in just a second. Another big, big, oh, big bite. Wow. Oh, oh my gosh. Right Uh-oh, Bill. Hold on. Uh -oh. It's over 30. It's Did over 30. Emily's fish has outdone.
done mine and Bill's. Holy cow. Need to pull up, huh? Slowly, yeah. Oh, don't wait for it. Wait for it. Ooh, ooh. Oh, that's scary. Mm -hmm. <gasps> oh Body my gosh. <laughs> Dude. I almost didn't get him in that net. I, I didn't realize it was going to be that big. Holy. I almost didn't get him. Hold the bell. Dude, that is a monster. monster. That's Walter. Emily. My first. You, you may never yeah. catch a bigger one than that either. You, yeah, a lot of people never got a bigger one than that. Wow. Okay, Emily. Yes. Wait, I, 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 I have to appreciate this fish so much. These oh, guys yeah, are telling us that people fish, fish their life. Look at this size for a fish like this. It's a pancake. Let's look check this thing out. Fin. All right, look up. There we go. Look at that. Cause Yeah, wait, you got let's it? Get her, let's get her first pair. Oh, you got oh, this. Sank it up. Let's go. Wow. You got this, Emily. Wow, look at that thing. Okay, ready? <laughs> I'm gonna let go. Okay. You ready, Emily? Okay, I'm ready. ready. Hold on tight. Here you go. <laughs> you look so wow, good. Wow, that thing's a beast. <laughs> look at that. Oh look at that God. thing. <laughs> That's like the biggest you can get here. <laughs> That's winning right there. Catch of a lifetime already. Yeah. My first, that was my first king salmon. I'll, yeah. take, I'll take a fish line. Aww. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's, that's some love there. Yeah. Nice job. <laughs> Yeah, we took a little lunch break and every cast since then, they're on. We had a leaf bite lunch and they're on. Four for four. So we know it's a big deal when the locals are freaking out. That is a big pan chinook right there. <laughs> that is serious. Hold it just like this. Look at this. Maybe you need both hands in there. You're gonna need two hands. Trust me. Watch these. I'll teach you. Ready? Ready? Two hands. There you go. Ready? Ready? Can you pick it up off the ground? Yeah. One, two. Whoa! Holy cow! This thing's huge. Look at this, and this is a hen. She's beautiful. She's beautiful. She's beautiful. Oh my gosh, this is amazing. Guys, first of all, my very first king salmon is a buck, and it's easily over 35 pounds, it's 35, 40 pounds, and I just caught a fish that people try and catch over their lifetime. It was my first one. I feel so honored that that, that fish decided to eat my bait and my on my rod, on my in, drift. In your hands? In my hands. It was yours. It was mine. And then we caught, what What else did we catch? We caught so many other things. I, my, I, I have fish brain, guys. This, this is, fish brain. is going <laughs> amazing. We're so thankful. We're so thankful, guys. We fish with Phil Gray's guide service. We'll put all the details, if you guys want to fish with him, in the description box. We're so appreciative to Batson for sending us up here. We have two more days 
two more days. Two more days. One day of fishing and one day in the office. And guess, I mean, did we say the secret yet? I don't know if we said the secret yet. I don't think we said the secret yet. So, are we going to say the secret now? Stay tuned. Stay tuned. No, we never said it. We never said it. We never said it. Stay tuned. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Make sure you follow Gale Force Twins on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube.